I've been HIV positive for 16 years. When Anita Powell was first diagnosed with HIV, her three daughters were teenagers, and she wondered if she would ever live to see them graduate from high school. Today, she is the proud grandmother of eight grandchildren. Maybe we'd do a bracelet for Jeff. Like many people, Anita never thought she needed to worry about HIV. It was after she donated blood with some co-workers at a local blood drive that she got the news. So gay blood. A few weeks later, I got the letter from Red Cross. That's when I found out. And trust me, my world crashed. I was like, where did I go wrong? Why, why me? Because I had a girlfriend that died like maybe two, three years before that with it. She had HIV. She died. And she had two little twins. Her kids were small, and I was like, nah, I got to wear it. That's not going to happen to me. But it did. At that time, I was drinking, smoking marijuana, anything, you know, that uh, killed the emptiness. So. Living that type of lifestyle, I was like, well, okay, well, stop and think, why not me, you know? Unprotected sex and stuff, so, you know, that's one of the main causes, and that's what happened, not using the condoms and, you know, not really taking care of me when I should have been, you know? Anita says she went through a period of depression and refused to accept her diagnosis. Living in rural Scotland Neck in eastern North Carolina, Anita says she was naive in thinking HIV could never happen to her. Just because this is a small town don't mean it's not going to happen here. Because there's so many people here right here in Scotland Neck that I know of that is positive, but they don't want to do nothing about it. Right here in Scotland Neck, they have the cancer um, drive, and they have different things going on with cancer and diabetes. But you hardly ever hear them talk anything about HIV AIDS. Anita is active in HIV support groups and reaches out in the community to educate people about HIV and AIDS. She says she's living proof of the importance of getting tested. I would encourage anybody, everybody, if you're thinking about getting involved, having sex or whatever, please get tested because you don't know. You never know. HIV testing is recommended for anyone who is sexually active or thinking about becoming sexually active. A test once a year is recommended for anyone who has had more than one sexual partner since their last HIV test. Anyone who has shared needles to shoot or inject drugs or steroids or has had sex with anyone suspected of being infected with HIV. We do a quick swab. We don't do any okay. blood. We just swab around the mouth, okay? okay? And it takes 20 minutes to get your results back. And this is called the Rapid HIV Quick Advance Test. Okay? There are many HIV okay. testing sites in North Carolina. At Care Incorporated in Durham, bottom. testing is provided at no cost. If you know your status, then you're empowered. And so we give them their power back. Once they know, they can start. We say this day is the first day of the rest of your life in terms of your decision making. Now that you know that you're positive, then you do all the things that you need to do to stay healthy. Now that you know that you're negative, you do all the things that you need to do to stay healthy. Care Executive Director Sharon Bynum and her staff members provide HIV education and prevention services in Durham County. She stresses to her clients that HIV doesn't discriminate. The youngest person who tested positive at CARE was 14 the oldest, a 75-year-old woman. But she says, unlike many other diseases, HIV can be prevented. We tell people it's not like diabetes, it's not hereditary disease. This is something that you can prevent, but you've got to know the risk factors and you've got to avoid them. And you've got to be real and you've got to communicate with your partner and be honest. Dr. Bynum says part of that honesty involves knowing how to negotiate safer sex practices. She says care caseworkers try to teach their clients about the importance of opening the lines of communication before couples decide to have sex. When you're getting ready to get into the act, it's not the time to negotiate. Before the act occurs and is, is when you need to talk to them about, if I'm going to engage in this activity with you, then I want to be safe, which means I want to use a condom, you need to use a condom, 
or no, we're not having sex. I said what you need to talk about because you have to respect yourself and protect yourself because you are worth it. Hot potato, throw it. Respect and protect is something Anita Powell stresses with her family and her community outreach efforts. She is hopeful others can learn from her experience. No matter who, no matter what, always practice safe sex. Keep your condom. They don't want to use a condom, do not. Do not allow it. I said, because look at your mom. I said, that's what happened to me. So many people are scared to talk to the children about it. I mean, they're very scared to talk to them about it, but they need to because they are, more younger people get sexually involved. More younger people want to try these drugs. And if somebody don't tell them about it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen to them. 16 years after her diagnosis, Anita admits there are some days when she wonders, what if? What if she had made other choices? But she no longer dwells on regrets. On. I'm smiling, keep my head up. At first I would walk around, my head down, no smiles, and that is not me. I love to smile. I want to make other people smile. Hey, come on, girl. To find out where you can get tested, call your local county health department or visit the National HIV Testing Resources website at www.hivtest.org or call CDC info at 1-800-232-4636. For more information on HIV and how to locate a testing site near you, visit www.nchealthystart.org. You can find it in the public section under Women's Health.